In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool book on differential equations. This one is called Elementary Differential Equations and it is by Lyman M. Kells. This particular copy is the fifth edition and let me just say it feels really, really well made and really solid. Elementary Differential Equations, Lyman M. Kells, PhD, Professor of Mathematics, Emeritus, U.S. Naval Academy, and this one is from 1960. Here you can see the earlier printings. Wow, 1932, that was a long time ago. So in this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you the top five things I like about this book, starting with number five. So number five is the contents. I really think the contents are good, but they're not really sensational in any way. I'm just gonna give you a quick glance here at everything in this book. If you're taking a differential equations course, chances are whatever topic you're studying, you're going to find in this book. Now, not every topic is in this book, but you're also gonna to find topics that aren't covered in your course. Even covers partial differential equations and applications of partial differential equations. So if you're looking for a book to self-study differential equations and learn a lot of material, this book has it. Despite the thickness of the book, it does have a lot of content because of the way it is laid out. Which leads me to number four, which is the readability and layout. This book is very concise and very well written. The sections are very, very short and to the point. For example, here's the section on homogeneous equations. He defines what he means by a homogeneous expression and then gives some simple examples. Immediately after that, he defines homogeneous equation, does an example where he shows you all of the work in a really nice fashion, and then boom, it's the exercises right away. This is the section on linear differential equations of the first order. You can see it starts here, and let me turn the page, and then this is the rest of it. He does an example, and then it jumps to the exercises, so it's always straight and to the point. The readability is quite good. Here it gives you some motivation for Laplace transforms. Oliver Heaviside, in an effort to solve ordinary linear differential equations with facility, devised a method of operational calculus which led to Laplace transforms. These have many uses. However, like most differential equations books, the main purpose of introducing Laplace transforms is to solve certain initial value problems using the Laplace transforms, as you see here in this example. So overall, a solid book in terms of readability and the layout. Okay, let's talk about the third thing I really like about this book. Number three is the price and availability of this book. So you see, this is an older book, and I'm not sure if it's still in print. I don't think it is. However, it's still extraordinarily cheap at this point in time. I was able to get my copy for just a few dollars, and I searched a couple of minutes ago before making this video, and I found several copies available for just a few dollars, which I think is a great value for a book like this. If you're wondering how I discovered this book, it's because someone left a comment in the comment section, and I immediately went to check out the book, and I am super happy I did. Again, I was able to get it really inexpensively and there's still copies available now. Number two for me has to be the smell and feel of this book. So my copy feels really, really good. Again, this one's the fifth edition and the cover is just so nice. This particular copy also smells really good. I just gotta give it a whiff. Oh, smells so amazing. Look at that. It's like a well-worn warrior. And there's something about when I turn the pages, like I feel like this book has been through so much but the quality is like unmatched. It is completely ridiculous. I have a lot of old books and this one just feels really, really solid. Even just flipping through the pages like this, you can feel the quality in old books like this. I really think that certain old books are better made than other ones. And this one is really, really well made. Here you can get a good idea of how big this book actually is compared next to the horse head. So just a really good size. You can carry it around with you. You can do math outside on the porch on a bus, anywhere, and it's not heavy, and it's well made, so again, that's why I ranked it so high in terms of what it feels like, what it smells like, the physical aspects of the book. Okay, so what is the thing that I love the most about this book? For me, it's going to be the exercises. So not only are there tons of exercises, let me show you. Here are the exercises for the section on inverse transforms of products. Look at all of these transforms. I mean, just tons of problems. This is more problems than a lot of modern textbooks, which is really unusual sometimes. Sometimes you'll find older books and they won't have a lot of exercises. Not the case with this book. Not only that, you have solutions to almost every single problem in the back of the book. I think that makes it awesome for self-study. And I basically use this as a source of problems. There are so many great problems in this book and you have answers to pretty much all of them except some of the derivations. 
So let's finish this video with a really simple example that's actually really cool. This is a differential equation and the solution is actually very, very interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and solve this. And to do that, we'll start by basically subtracting the y dy. So minus y dy, minus y dy. So we have x dx equals minus y dy. And this is really an unnecessary step. We could have just basically integrated right from the beginning, but I'm doing it this way because this is the way it's usually taught. When you're trying to solve this type of differential equation, you basically group together all of the x's with the dx's on one side and all of the y's with the dy's on the other side. Then you integrate. These are really easy integrals. There's a one here and there's a one here. So you basically add one and divide by the result. Same thing here, add one and divide by the result. Then you add your constant of integration, which is capital C. Then go ahead and add this back to the other side. So we have x squared over two plus y squared over two equals C. Now what we're gonna do is clear the fractions by multiplying by two. So we have x squared plus y squared equals two C. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna call it R squared, right? This is a constant. So we have x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So this is the equation of a circle with the center at the origin, so zero, zero, and a radius of r. So what is that saying? It's saying that the solution of this differential equation, x dx plus y dy equals zero, is this equation here. So there are infinitely many solutions, right? And basically what you have here is infinitely many circles of radius r. So if you were to graph your solution, maybe you'll have a circle here, maybe you'll have a circle here, and maybe you'll have a circle here, etc. infinitely many circles. And what's really cool is that you can take this original differential equation and solve it for dy dx. You would subtract x dx from both sides. So we have y dy equals minus x dx. And then maybe divide by y. So we have dy equals minus x over y dx. And then maybe divide by dx. So you get dy dx equals minus x over y. I did that pretty quick, but here's the key point. So you have this differential equation, which basically tells you the slope of the tangent line at any point on any of these circles, right? Because r here can be any number, right? So there's no issue here. As long as r is a positive number, you're going to get a circle. Now this equation is meaningless if x and y are not on one of these circles, but it's pretty cool because you can find the rate of change at any point on any of these circles. I just thought I would share a simple differential equation that's actually really easy to solve that has some type of really cool meaning. Overall, I think this is a really great book. I think it's got a lot of material in it. I love the layout. I like how concise it is. It reads fairly well. Currently, it's very, very affordable. I got my copy for only a few dollars. It feels really well made. So if you get an older copy, which you might have to, uh, it's probably gonna be pretty good quality. Let me just give it a whiff. Ah, oh, what a wonderful book. So I've been doing problems out of this book just for fun, and I think it's awesome. And again, the best thing about it, for me at least, is that it's got tons of exercises. Look at all these problems. I just opened it up to a random page and you have solutions to all of those problems in the back of the book. There's tons of great DE books out there and there's other books on differential equations that also have solutions to all of the problems. But I like the way this one's made and that's why I picked it and that's why I've been working through it. So I just wanted to share this book that I have been looking at with everyone out there. I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe you've learned something too. Good luck and take care.